In this video, we'll look at the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for fluorine. So when we look at the periodic table and we see fluorine, we see the atomic number is 9. So we're going to write 9 for the atomic number. There are two isotopes of fluorine. We'll talk more about isotopes later. But it doesn't really matter what isotope you have. Fluorine will always have an atomic number of 9. And the atomic number, that's the number of protons. So we'll always have 9 protons. That's what makes fluorine fluorine. It has nine protons. If we have a neutral element, that means the protons will equal the electrons. So if you just have F for fluorine, that's a neutral element. But if you have a sign, like a negative sign after it, this is not a neutral element. This is an ion. So we're talking about neutral elements, like all the elements on the periodic table. So we'll have the number of protons will equal the number of electrons. Nine protons, nine electrons. Same for the other isotope of fluorine, nine electrons. So we're left finding neutrons and the mass number. And that's what's different with isotopes. They have the same number of protons, but they have different numbers of neutrons and therefore different mass number. So let's go back to the periodic table. This is the average atomic mass. So if you're not given neutrons and mass number, usually just round this number to a whole number, 19. So now we know we have a mass number of 19. Mass number equals protons, which is 9, plus neutrons, which we don't know. So something plus 9 gives us 19. 10 neutrons for this isotope of fluorine. And we call it fluorine 19. We base the name on the mass number. So we have fluorine 19. And almost all of the fluorine that we find in nature is going to be 19. And that kind of makes sense because when we look at the average atomic mass, that's an average of the mass of the isotopes based on their abundance. So since most of them have a mass number of 19, this will be very close to 19. We also have some fluorine 18, just a little bit, just a trace of fluorine 18. And we could figure out here, if we have 18, something plus 9 gives us 18, 9 plus 9 That'll give us 18. So we have nine neutrons, and we call this fluorine 18. So if we look at the number again, this 19 here, this is an average of all of the isotopes, the mass of all the isotopes, based on their abundance, how much there are of each one. Since there's mostly 19, this average just leans heavily towards 19. We can write this in a little bit different notation other than on the periodic table. So it's kind of the notation for each atom. We're talking about each isotope. It's called nuclear notation. So for fluorine 19, we put 19 up here. That's the mass number. The atomic number goes down here. For fluorine, that's going to be 9. We could write fluorine 18, fluorine with 18. And then again, the atomic number for fluorine is always 9. So that's how we can write the isotopes with nuclear notation. But then the periodic table, that's the average of these isotopes based on their abundance. You can't really tell just by looking at the periodic table how many isotopes there'll be for an element. But when you're given these tables, it's good to know how to fill them out and how to write nuclear notation. This is Dr. B with the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for fluorine. Thanks for watching.